Hello, I'm Jim Homer, technical instructor here at the Atlanta Training Center in Norcross, Georgia, and today I've got some technical tips for you on HVLP. HVLP stands for High Volume, Low Pressure, and what I'm getting ready to cover is some tips on things you need to do and consider in order to get the peak performance out of your HVLP equipment. So what HVLP does is HVLP takes a high volume of air entering the spray gun and then in turn converts it to low pressure at the air cap to provide better transfer efficiency as far as paint getting on the car and less in the air. So the key here is the HVLP gun does require a high, high volume of air. So things that can influence the volume of air are pretty basic. One, first of all, is the quick disconnects you use, your fittings. So if you notice on my right is a high flow fitting. On my left is a conventional standard fitting. You can notice the differences in opening the high flow is much larger, allowing more volume of air to pass through it, where the low flow can be very restrictive. A quick analogy that you can, everybody can understand would be, as an example, I've got a small little coffee stirrer here, which would represent a low flow fitting, and I've got a normal size straw, which represents a high flow fitting. If you were trying to breathe through this, this little straw here, this little coffee stirrer, you're gonna starve for air really quickly. Where on the other hand, you can actually breathe through a full size straw fairly easily. Same thing happens to your spray gun. With that low flow fitting, it's starving for air, starving for volume, which in turn can influence the way that gun performs. Some of the things you might see through lack of volume of air would be one, poor atomization. Two, the fan pattern might not be as uniform as you'd like it to be. So therefore, what happens a lot of times when people are struggling to get enough air to their guns is they normally tend to have to apply more paint to get the flow they're looking for and get the wetting. So actually by changing your fittings, which is very simple, along with some other things I'll talk about in a minute, can actually influence the amount of paint you use as well as the finish you end up with when you're done. Another thing that can influence the volume of air going to a spray gun is how you adjust your air pressure. All right, a lot of us have a micrometer on the end of our gun. All right, a micrometer and an air gauge allows us to turn down the air pressure using the little knob on the micrometer. When you start to turn this knob in, what it's doing basically is it's restricting the opening, making it smaller, which in turn is killing our volume of air or our CFM, which again is going to influence performance of the HVLP gun. Here I have another example. I have a digital gun, okay? On this digital gun, there's no restrictions no micrometer on the bottom. It does have an air micrometer on the back of the spray gun for fine, for fine tuning, minor adjustments. When you go to set your gun up for air, to set your air pressure, you want to have everything wide open. What you want to do is you want a point of use regulator at the wall. And what you're going to do is use your gauge on your gun to check your air pressure, and you're simply gonna turn down the air at the wall until the gauge, whether it be a digital or mechanical gauge on your handle, reads the pressure that you're wanting to spray at. Hopefully you found this helpful, and thank you so much for choosing Axel Nobel.